We are that daily sacrifice. Christ did it once and for all. He fulfilled the law, but he's called us to be a daily sacrifice. Daily. Take up your cross daily. If you want to be my disciple, he said, you got to do it. And you can't do it in your own strength. Whatever situation comes your way is an opportunity for us to walk in the sacrificial heart of love toward God and toward one another. Amen? So this year, let's have a heart that wants to sacrifice, that wants to be a, a to, to actually enjoy. He endured the cross, didn't enjoy it, uh, but we enjoy being obedient to the Lord, right? He endured the cross, despising the shame, but then after it was all over and said and done, he sat down at the right hand of the Father. You know, he's the king of kings. And who are those kings he's king over? Queens. That's you and that's me. He's invited us to be kings and queens. And we have to begin to remind ourselves like that. They were talking about that at the conference. You know, we need to get in the mirror in the morning and speak positive things to ourselves. Because what God has told us we would be, we would be successful, yeah. prospered. I think now's a good time. I, I really wanted to make some declarations while Holly's playing. There's such an anointing coming from that piano. I wanted to uh, make some declarations. They were doing that last night, and I just got stirred, and I wrote some declarations this morning. So this is for you and for everyone that hears this. If you will, if you want, if you want these blessings, just receive them because I'm going to declare them over you. There's power in that. When we declare with our words, you know, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. But he's called us now. He's, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. He's called us to make declarations now. And so I'm going to make a declaration. So... I want you to close your eyes and I want you to receive what is being declared for yourself, for your family, for your community, for your sphere of influence, for wherever God takes you. Amen. For 2023, the declaration over mercy and truth and our friends and neighbors, we declare all these things for all who are associated with us here at Mercy and Truth and those hearing this by way of the media that the Lord will bless each household represented here with spiritual, mental, and physical health, that sickness and disease will be healed, that mental struggles will cease, that the attacks of the enemy of each household will be deflected as we hold up our shield of faith and not give in to doubt, depression, fear, torment, worry, anxiety, or any form of unbelief. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. Let's just thank the Lord right now for the declaration over us, for the blessings this year God's going to take us into, an abundance of his kingdom and his glory and his power. It's going to be bestowed upon you, each one of you. It's coming down on your heads right now. God is wanting to fill you to the fullest this year. He wants to anoint you with oil, the oil of gladness, the oil of joy, to go out, be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you, and all the trees will be clapping their hands as we go forth. Amen? Amen? Let's give the Lord a hand. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you, God, because it is you who are in us that work us in us both to will and to do of your good pleasure, Lord. So, Father, when it gets tough, starting with day one, day two of this year, day three, day week one, Lord, remind us, Lord, of who we are. Show us who we are, God. We are children of the God of Almighty who created us. We are the kings. We are princes. We are queens. We are royalty. And we shall go forth in the power and in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Dreams increasing, revelations increasing, the word of God becoming alive more than ever.
Help us begin to speak, Lord, with boldness and confidence, Lord, of the blessings of God, of salvation, of healing, and of deliverance, Father. We ask you, God, Lord, to show us the way. Show us the path. Illuminate us, Lord, so we can see where we're going, Lord. Maybe not way ahead, but at least one step at a time, Father. You put dreams in everyone's hearts, God. I just pray they would begin to unfold this year and that they would be fulfilled, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have laid out a destiny for us, Lord. So, Father, we just take up your words, your promises that are yes and amen, and we we go forth in it in the name of Jesus Christ. We lay down our suspicions of one another. We lay down our grievances with one another, our criticisms in the name of Jesus Christ. You've called us to be a holy people. You've called us to be a righteous people, not just in in legal terms, but in living God. You've called us to be righteous, to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. And you said that you would take care of everything else that we needed, Lord. So today, Father, we, 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 assume the position of being righteous legally yes but we say God we will be righteous in the way we talk in the way we walk and in the way we act and we just shun darkness that has tried to attach itself to us and our families our communities and we declare the light of God has come arise shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you Even though deep darkness is coming and is coming in a greater wave, we shall have victory. We shall have power over it. The psalmist prophesied Jesus would not see destruction in the grave, and he didn't. He didn't see it. It didn't hold him down. The power of Holy Spirit came and and Jesus was risen from the dead. And that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you. He will quicken your mortal body. He will give life to your mortal body. That's your mind. That's your mind too. Primarily your mind and your physical body. But God wants to give you his thoughts, his ways. Because we don't have them without him. He wants to empower you to begin to speak things that you know not of now. He wants to disclose to you and I things, secrets, things that are are not known to most people because you are special people. You are his chosen. You are his beloved. You are his lover. He loves us so much. He allows things to come to purge us and to test us and to wash us. Don't resist them. Cry out to him. Let the spirit of God take you into a time of brokenness and contrition and a time of humility where he will meet you in a precious way. And the power of God will be there to change your life, change your heart, change your mind, change your situation. And you'll experience victory. And destruction will be far from you, far from your family, far from your neighborhood, far from your schools, your workplaces, far from your marketplace encounters. God wants us to begin to speak with boldness. The fire of God is going to come upon you today. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are hungry, just raise your hands and receive the fire of God. I saw it breaking out in Florida at Rodney Howard Brown's church, and it's coming. It is here. The fire of God is here. It's enough is enough. The enemy has tried to delude us into thinking we can't do these things. But I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. All things through Christ who strengthens us. And this is the word of the Lord to us this morning, that we shall rise up with wings of eagles. We shall run and not be weary. We shall walk and not faint. God has called us for this time, for this hour, for such a time as this. The Esther anointing is on you and me. Just reach out and receive it this morning. Reach out and receive it. It's not by works. It's not by might, but it's by the power of the Spirit of the Lord. 
not by your own power, but his power within you. God has put dunamis, dynamite power within you, and you can be now a vessel that carries this weaponry to the world to set them free. Darkness has to flee. Whenever there's one light in the room, darkness has to flee. And it's time we begin to to act like it, talk like it, speak like it, confess it with our mouth, profess it, and possess it. This ain't a us thing, it's a him thing. Reach out and receive right now what he has for you. He wants you, he wants you to have all that he has. All that you remember the prodigal son. He came back, and then the elder son was complaining. Oh, you did you did all this, and he went out and lived with horrors, and 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 you gave him all the through a party, and he said, Son, don't you know that all I have is yours? Everything is ours. Get the stinking thinking out. The Lord spoke to me last week, said, stop crying and stop trying. And just let me do it in you. I was up there at the mall after the pipes broke and it was all flooded out. I remembered all the good times we had up there. Richard, we had so many good times up there, didn't we? At the plaza. And now it's all like in ruins, it seems. It's all being dis dis combobulated and taken apart and I started crying when the pipes broke and everything was wet and the Lord set me straight it's time to stop crying and it's time to stop trying and I mean in our own strength hallelujah we need to we need to go in forth in the power and the anointing of God Dare to believe that he can do these things. Dare to believe that we can go in and possess the promised land. Dare to believe that we can take down these giants. Dare to believe that we we can go in in the midst of tumult and darkness and chaos and God can bring divine order in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether it's one person or a whole multitude, God's going to begin to use us this year to speak forth bold words. Bold words. I just know it. Jane and I received the gift of faith last night. That conference, I don't know, were you watching that, Mary? Did you watch it? What was the brother's name? Bob Weiner prayed for the gift of faith. And I just want to pray for that right now. I feel there's an anointing, an apostolic anointing like there was last night, right now, this morning, that if you want the gift of faith, you need it sometimes because sometimes your faith isn't developed enough yet. The gift of faith will step in there and will begin to manifest in power. I've seen it all over the place. I've seen it in Uganda. I've seen it on our block. The gift of faith. Just receive right now. Raise your hand if you want to receive the gift of faith. We impart now the gift of faith in the name of Jesus Christ now over every person that's hungry for it right now. We receive the gift of faith. I say receive now the gift of faith that will manifest in certain situations when you have no faith. And God is going to bless you with a supernatural faith that will move mountains, that will allow discoveries It will allow things to be invented. It will allow you to see into the Spirit. It will have you to call those things that are not as though they were because the Holy Spirit's doing it in you through the gift of faith. Wow, that's a lot. Just receive it now. You're going to be different. You're going to be different after today. There's power. There's power coming down upon us. This is not a game. This is an inheritance that you have been given. And it's up to you whether you fulfill your destiny. What do you do when God gives you all this gold? Do you bury it in the ground or do we take it out and use it? Let's use what God has given us. And I want to warn you, 
The tempter is going to come. He's going to tempt you to speak negative things. We're so used to it. They, they really ministered on this last night. If you get a chance to watch that morning story, it's on um, Chris Reed's YouTube. Because they, they pull morning stars because they said too much of the truth about political situations, I guess. They pulled their YouTube channel. They might pull ours someday. Who knows? But God, go, go listen to it. it, it you need to, to, there's so much that went on in that conference that was just supernatural. My hand's falling asleep. Holding this mic too tight. I'm just feeling the presence of God. Jesus, we praise you. Just praise him. Just thank him. Just thank him for his goodness to you. Oh, God, you are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord. There's no one comes to you, the Father, except by you, God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. You are the way. Hallelujah. You find yourself in a conundrum, he's the way out. You find yourself in darkness, he's the light of the world. You find yourself at a dead end, he can break through it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do you feel trapped? Yes, he's the one that sets us free. The snare has broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us, Lord. Thank you that our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, God. That all the things that we did in the past, you remember no more, God. That's not who we are to find by now. You've adopted us, and we are yours. We are yours, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.